Hi, it's uh, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you an overview of truncation errors, so identifying and fixing truncation errors in SQL Server integration services. Um, so first of all, I'll just give you a very, very quick overview of what I'm going to talk about. So I'll talk about what are truncation errors, how to identify when you have one, and then I'll go through a demonstration of a truncation error and um, how to fix it. Then I'll also provide some additional resources on learning integration services and uh, analytics in general. So what are truncation errors and how to identify when you have one? Well, first of all, they're probably the most common error generated within integration services, particularly on the data flow part of uh, integration services. Um, essentially, they're caused when data is um, too long to fit into a pre-specified field. So um, they're um, often they're often linked with um, say free flow text fields um, where um, where there can be a small number of rows of data that are actually very long that so it's almost outliers um, quite often occurs within say um, uh, address fields where there's a very long um, town name or province name. Um, and or often in say just say descriptions within CRM systems which you then may be importing into integration services. Um, the way to, um, as with all errors within um, integration services, it's you know you got hit an error when the um, when that transformation or that uh, connection turns red. Um, and what you can do is you can identify that it's a uh, a truncation error by looking in the view menu. Then clicking down to uh, then going sorry view output and looking for a line that begins with error dot 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 something then truncation. Alternatively, you can look in the progress tab um, and look for error uh, and then it mentions mentions something about truncated. So I'll give you a demo of what that looks like. So just jump across into integration services here. So I've got a simple package that picks up a CSV file here. I'll set it running. So there we go. We've got a um, truncation error that's being produced. We don't know that it's a truncation error at the moment. So what we'll do to identify what sort of error it is, go view, output, look down the, uh, the list here for the error that's produced. And basically we're looking for the truncated. So text was, trunca was truncated. What it also says here is that it's in the notes column of the uh, of the data set. What you can also do is go progress. Shows pretty much the same sort of thing. Uh, look for this error, little um, exclamation mark. Again, it's saying data conversion in the notes field. Text was truncated. So we know that it's a truncation error. So I'll just turn the debugging off, stop the debugging. Um, go back to the data flow. So in order to fix this, we go down to the Connection Manager tab at the bottom of the page, double click on it, it opens it up, and then we look at the Advanced field, um, and then select the column we're after, and as mentioned, it was the, the error is being generated from the Notes um, field, or Notes column. It's saying that the column is uh, has been preset to 50 characters wide. Um, so this is obviously too, too uh, it's not wide enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to 3, 350. But first of all, I'll talk about the suggested types. So this suggested types is basically, um, SQL, you, if you click on this, um, SQL uh, will scan through um, the number of rows of, uh, a spe pre specified number of rows of data to see how big it thinks that um, that uh, that column should be. So I can set this to say 5,000, but the problem is, because I know my data set's about 2,600, the problem is that the maximum you can set it to is a, is a thousand. So if you've got a uh, data set with um, significantly more than a thousand rows of data, um, you run into a problem with it and it, this doesn't actually provide a, a really robust solution unfortunately because that would be great if you could specify it to the maximum size of the data set so um, what it actually did was when I set it to a thousand it went through and scanned 
and the first thousand, the maximum width of the uh, first thousand rows of data in the notes column is only two. Um, so, but actually, what we want to do is we have to manually set this, and I, to, and I know that the maximum width is 350. The problem with the truncation errors is you have to almost guess what the maximum size is um, that that column could be. I mean, I know that in the data set that I'm pulling in, the when they actually import it in, they're limited to a, a maximum size of 350. So that's fairly, fairly straightforward for me. But you might have to. Um, you might have to um, take a couple guesses of increasing column width to, uh, to figure this one out. But what I'll do is click OK. What it's done here is it's um, thrown up a little uh, warning. So basically this warning is a, um, a, a metadata warning. So metadata is data about data. So it's saying that, OK, you've actually updated the column width. You need to um, basically um, replace the metadata so that it now saying that the column width is, is 350. So basically this is just a just a prompt it puts you through. Same sort of thing. Unfortunately these are um, um, cascading sort of updates so you have to go through and update this all the way through your, through the transformations that you have but that's essentially done that there and if I then click on it look at that goes through fine without any truncation errors. So that solved the, um, the truncation error problem. So what I'll do is I'll just go back to position. So OK, so that's um, solving truncation errors within integration services. Um, if you want to find out more information about um, integration services and see some more um, training videos, come across to Analytics in Action. So Analytics in Action is my website has a stack of information about integration services, so all sorts of topics such as you know, scheduling uh, integration services packages, various um, you know, connection managers, multiple flat file connection managers, learning the basics of um, integration services, things like um, derived columns, using variables, you name it, it's in there. Um, it's great um, a great uh, resource, at least I, I think it is. Um, also has a stack of other information on uh, analyti analytics and uh, business intelligence in general. Um, other thing that I'd suggest is um, subscribing to my YouTube channel um, or Vimeo channel and um, that way you'll be able to keep track when I update, uh, when I add new videos to um, to the to YouTube. So hope you've enjoyed this um, quick overview of um, truncation errors.